Hello students, welcome you for the video session of HCA. Today we are going to see about overlays and inlays, virtual pages and process flows. So for, first we will start with overlays. Overlays are really just lightweight pop-ups. Overlays are nothing but just a pop-up in your uh, web page, but it is lightweight. Uh, we are using overlays instead of pop-ups because pop-ups usually we are having pop-ups in our browser that pop-ups will have all the properties of a normal window but this overlay doesn't have any properties of this normal window it is just a overlay it is just a overlay page on your web page if you use pop-ups your browser pop-ups will display a new browser windows as a result, these windows often take time and a sizable chunk of system resources. So browser pop-ups often display browser interface controls. So all the controls like closing, minimizing and uh, other buttons whichever in the normal window will be available in the pop-ups. But this overlay doesn't have any properties, doesn't have any window, uh, any window properties. It will just display the content as it is for example here uh, I have shown you a normal browser pop-up it is a calendar so whenever we have we have to fill a, a date details in a page there will be a calendar option will be shown that will have all the properties of your window but uh, we have different types of overlays uh, let us see one by one the first type is nothing but dialog overlay Dialog overlay replaces the old style browser pop-ups just like what we seen uh, previous slide so it will replace the normal pop-ups it doesn't have any controls here so so look at here doesn't have any window properties like closing minimizing uh, and maximizing buttons so it is uh, just a lightweight pop-up so whatever the content you want to display that alone will be displayed in the overlay section so uh, if you want to close this overlay you just press the escape button that is enough to close the overlay so an example is nothing but a netflix uh, you you know very well about netflix or netflix application so it uses uh, overlay then and there so it is just like a lightweight box it will show only the information about the uh, about the picture or about the movie whatever you selected so it will show only the informations so this is a dialog overlay next one is a detailed overlay so detailed overlay is nothing but it will give some detailed informations if you want to uh, know the reviews rating details about a movie if you want to see if you place an icon if you place a cursor in that movie so it will display whatever the details which is given by the website so it will give all the information about the movie whichever you want to see the detail overlay allow an overlay to present additional information so when the user click on hovers over or link a selection of the content so it may be a hover selection or if you want to if you want to uh, select if you are uh, it may be a click or it may be a over, hover selection or it may be a button it will display the detailed overlay information so toolkits now make it easier to create the overlay across the different browsers and to request additional information from the server without referencing the pages so that is possible so this 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 picture shows the example for the detailed overlay next one is an input overlay so whenever we want to get an input from a user so for example uh, in the name form uh, usually for a name we will have a first name last name and middle name uh, if you want to uh, fill a name uh, for example if a user want to fill a name so if you uh, if you click on the name field an overlay will be appeared so there you can fill your name uh, first name last name and last name uh, middle name can be filled and it can be stored in your server so it is just like an uh, interactive so input overlay is nothing but a lightweight overlay that brings additional info additional input information for each field 
tabbed into so uh, for a normal name you may have a different uh, section so for uh, like last name middle name and first name so likewise uh, likewise if you want to get the uh, age so if you fill the date of birth the age will be automatically calculated so likewise you can create an uh, input overlay so user input overlay is uh, to simplify the visual style of the form we don't want to clumps uh, we don't want to create a clumsiness in the web pages we can uh, reduce the number of input fields um, then after we are getting um, data into the form then we can have a input overlay so uh, that's all about the overlays so next one is nothing but inlay so there is a small difference between overlay and inlay so inlay inlay is also it will show a content but it will show content within the page itself so it will expand the page space so whenever there will be an inlay option if you click on so you may see for more details you can click here so likewise lot of the pages will have a, a link or button to to show the additional details the content will be available inside the page itself it will uh, it will create a space for example see here so here we have a different menus in the website so that menus will look normal when you are up, uh, when it is appeared in a page but there will be a uh, button for expand the option so if you click that button the page will expand so this is called as inlays a simple technique is to expand a part of the page or revealing a dialog area within the page so the initially we don't want to expose all the information to the user whenever a user willing to know more information we will create uh, we will provide a uh, space that will there the content information will be provided so use dialog inlays for page customization so uh, just like overlay we are having a different options in inlays also uh, the first uh, method is nothing but dialog inlay so whenever you have a menu there will be a button if you click a button it will expand your menu will expand and your page will expand and it will show the additional contents to smooth the introduction of the dialog inlay into the page use the quick slide in animation so we are using slide in animations to display the content use dialog inlays to connect the dialog with the elements in the slide out form so it will slide out so one by one it will slide out so it is a secondary tool it is not a primary tool so always your uh, inlays are used as a secondary tool so as a primary tool we may already having a menus uh, menu and forms are having as a primary tool if you want any additional information then we go for the inlays next one is nothing but list inlay in the list inlay you will have a list of menus normally uh, all the list items will be shown if you want to know more information about the list item we want to click on the list item then the information about the list item will be shown there itself so this is a list inlay so list are a great place to use inlays instead of requiring the user to navigate to a new page for its item details or popping up the information in a overlay so we don't want to create a separate page for the information then and there your information will be shown next one is nothing but detailed inlay so uh, so see here so there really uh, there is a website so if you, you it will provide information about your hotels hotel informations like oyo websites so if you click if you click on view additional details so there is a button called view additional details it is nothing but a link so if you click on that link you will get additional information in that page itself it is not overlaying it it will not lead you to the next page or or it will not have any overlay options so it will have a link if you click on that link your additional information will be shown in the same page itself likewise in that same page also you have more number of inlay options if you click on that relevant inlay information will be shown in that page itself so this is called as detailed inlay a common idioms common idioms or any sentences you may create a link so if you click on that sentence you will get the further information so we can use the detailed inlay to avoid anti pattern or hover and cover so anti pattern is a type of style we already know that so instead of using anti pattern or hover and cover method you can directly go for the 
detailed inlay method. So it will make it easy to dismiss the detailed inlay. Okay, next concept is virtual pages. So uh, we came across overlay and inlay. So we want to know when to use the overlay and when to use the inlay. So overlays can be used for uh, if you want to reveal more number of informations in the same page, you can go for overlays. But if you want to if you want to reveal only minimum information in your page, then we can go for inlays. But for list for to view the list informations, inlay is the best option. Now we are seeing about virtual pages. So whenever uh, we are seeing about inlay, so the page some uh, the some part of the pages is already hidden. If you click a menu or if you click a link, the part of the pages will be revealed for the user. So this is a part. This is a part of virtual page. Initially, the virtual page is not known completely by the user. It is hidden mode. It is in the hidden mode. Whenever a user click on the menu or if you want to know more details, then your page will be expanded. So this is called as virtual pages. There is number of virtual pages options available. Virtual scrolling, inline paging, scrolled pages, panning, zoomable user interfaces. Let us see one by one. So virtual scrolling. So whenever you have a more number of pages to display, for example, let us take a Google page. So Google, if you search any information in a Google, it will provide n number of pages as a result. So we never uh, we never navigate to search pages. We will get information from one or two pages itself. So, but it will give a lot of pages as a result. Uh, usually they will provide a navigation menu in Lost like this. So if you you can click a next next button or you can go for the numbers you want. So this is not a virtual scrolling. This is an example for number of pages. If you have a more number of pages, this like option is usually given. But virtual paging is nothing but the content, all the content is shown in the single page itself. Yes, Yahoo actually uses the virtual paging concept, but Yahoo doesn't exist now. So this pages it will load lot of pages in the single page itself we are not going to navigate page number one two three four and next uh, anything so we are scrolling pages one by one we are scrolling the pages uh, like a usual way so it is just like a news feed it will add upon add upon in lost add upon in lost add upon in lost of your page so uh, this is called as virtual paging so next one is an inline paging so so in a previous uh, menu, so we are we are, we have sh uh, we have seen that when you scroll upon your new pages will be added. When you scroll upon new pages will be added. So that is called as virtual scrolling. But the second second type is nothing but inline page. You you having different uh, more number of pages like same. Uh, you have a ten number of pages, but we are not moving on pages. So in the same page itself, all the ten page content will be shown in the same page like uh, let us take this uh, online shopping website as an example your category menus and uh, the menus which is shown in uh, top top corner of the pages and left side of the pages will be static let us compare these two images so here the uh, category menus and uh, the top banners are static so the content is static in both the pages but the internal details the page uh, the the informations inside available inside the pages will be changed often so this is called as inline paging so user have the experience of they are working on the same page but they are having different content so by only switching the content in and leaving the rest of the pages stable so inside content only changed the rest of the pages will be uh, not uh, not changed it is a stable so we can create an inline page experience by this technique Next one is scrolled paging. Scrolled paging is also called as carousel. So it, it is nothing but when uh, uh, it is mostly used on the time timeline basis. So for example, if you have a images on timeline basis, or if you have a videos to watch on timeline basis, then we will go for the scrolling pages. So let us take these images. So it is a continuous images. Uh, so in this continuous images. So 
if you uh, continuous images or have been fixed in the pages there will be a navigation menu for right and left if you want to move left you can use this navigation and if you want to move right you can use this button so if you click on this the pages the images will scroll on then you can select any one image from that crossal work so this is called as crossal and next one is nothing but virtual panning so virtual panning is nothing but uh, the page initially the page doesn't have any content so uh, for example you can take the google maps so in google map initially if you load on it uh, only blue color screen will be loaded so then if you zoom on you will have a area so let us take this area so this is a uh, initially it will shows only blue color screen but when you zoom on it then you can see some data inside that pages so initially it is hidden so when you zoom in close it you will it will it will reveal more informations so yeah great place for virtual panning is nothing but a map so google map allow you to pan in any direction by clicking the mouse uh, clicking the mouse down and dragging the map around so you can drag the map around and get the informations whenever you uh, wherever you you scroll down or you can zoom in okay next one is nothing but zoomable user interface so here lot of images are given in a single page itself a small size images have been given if you zoom the page you can view the picture more clearly so this is called as zoomable user interface so uh, it can be applicable in 2d and 3d pages so some websites have been using this so for example Netflix and uh, this here the example is hot rock cafe so this will give you the uh, more information in a single page itself so it's nothing but if you want uh, in, in some music websites they, there is lot of music uh, is available albums are available so all their albums will be shown in a single page itself if you scroll up if you zoom in you can you could uh, you could see the detailed information so otherwise we can see only the pictures if you zoom in you can get the detailed information so this is called a zoomable user interface and the next concept is process flow process flow is nothing but we are leading the user from one page to another page for a single process for example if you if a user want to create an account in the first page there will be a link for creating an account if you click on it it will lead you to the next page there you will have the basic information user will fill the basic informations like name uh, date of birth age phone number email address like basic information will be um, filled in that first page and it uh, after that after uh, filling all these details lastly you will have a button called submit and next so after submit and next it will lead you to the additional informations like your qualifications your experiences that will be in the next pages so it is nothing but a single process we, we want to get the information of the user but it will not in a single page it uh, it will lead you to more number of pages a single process will lead to more number of pages and finally you will have a submit button if you submit it all this information will be stored into your database so this is called as process flow so this is a this is an example for a uh, process flow there is lot of process flows are there so one of the best example is google blogger Google Blogger is a popular site uh, to blogs. So here also we want to create an account. Then after creating the account, we will give our own information in that Google page. So it will be shown as a separate web page. Uh, there you will have uh, many options like uh, you can delete the blog or you can uh, create a comment. So you, you can include a comment or uh, the user whoever uh, viewing the page can give a comment and you can delete the comment also. So for for that you have a different number of processes. So for example, if you want to delete a command which is posted at a particular time, we can click on that time and we can have a buttons called delete command. So after clicking that, you will get to know what are the commands which is which is already given. Then you can delete it. So this is a diff this is different pages 
process this this process will lead you will lead you to different pages so that can be monitored as a single process flow so this is called as process flow so there is uh, some principle to apply these process flows so let us break down this so for example uh, if you want to take a picture with a digital camera sometime later you want to upload that photos to the site uh, like Flickr so Flickr is one of the website which will store all the uh, pictures and then we can finding the cable so what are that um, that uh, that that is that um, that lead you to store the information and then uh, so we can apply the magic principle so because after clicking that image you can uh, play a start we can play at iTunes so music can be played so like that uh, multiple features have been handled in a single page itself we are uploading the photos and we are also short playing the iTunes whenever we want to click the photo images so this is a multiple process but this this process will be carried out in a single flow itself so that is called as uh, principle so that is that, that is a, that is a that is a principle we are we are going to follow here so there is a lot of process flows so uh, first one is an interactive single page process inline assistant inline assistant process configurator process overlay process static single page process so these are the different types of processes so first one is nothing but interactive single page process so here so what are the process we want to give for the user that will be available in a single page itself so let us take an example so if you want to purchase a um, product from a website so all the informations will be given in the single page itself the color of the t-shirts and the size a number of quantities and uh, later uh, the purchase details the payment details everything will be in a single page itself so a single process will be available in a single page this is called as interactive single page process next one is an inline assistant process it is nothing but whenever you want to know more details so you will have an another one assistant process so let us take uh, the same uh, online shopping website so if you want to pro purchase a product the details have been shown in a single page but if you want to uh, add more number of products for your purchase you can have a button called add to bag like add to cart or add to bag if you want to purchase more number of products different products if you want to purchase different products you can click add to bag so uh, that bag is a separate process that is an additional process of the process whichever currently we are doing so bag will take care of all the products whichever you buy so if you buy two different products two different product details will be stored in the bag and you can make payment from that bag itself so this is a inline assistant process next one is nothing but dialog overlay process we already seen about what is overlay so overlay is nothing but a lightweight pop-up so whenever you need a pop-up in your page you can have a overlay so here uh, to uh, to monitor the process to monitor the process we are having the overlay so your your process will be taken care of these overlays so connected overlays any pages switching is an interruption to the user so you, you, we don't want to switch from one page to another page in a single page itself we will con we will take care of the entire process in addition any context switching is a chances chances for user to leave the site so context we don't want to make the user uh, to switch over the pages for viewing different contexts uh, for a single context we will, be, we will be in a single page itself so these overlays will have a better experience for user to stay in the page itself and also we will we will continue our process so this is the best example the dialogue overlay process and lastly we are seeing about configurator process so here the process flow will be monitored in the single page itself but everything will be uh, every control will be given to the user itself so process flow is meant to invoke delight so it's nothing but it is an engagement factor that becomes most important like uh, Porsche is a company uh, which will create a customized car uh, they, they manufacture customized car for their user so user can have their own color 
so they can create uh, they can have they can choose their color so here they are they have given the color palette so um, by mixing this color palette they can create their own color and there will be different option configuration options for their car so uh, they can they can have any one of these configuration menus so an entire car can be customized by user user itself so this is a configuration page for their uh, car customization so in a single page in a single page all the customized customization options have been given in the single page itself so user can easily select any one of these customized menu to apply into their car so later this customized car will be delivered to them so this is called as configurator process so that's all student so we have seen about overlays inlays virtual paging and process flow in this video Thank you.